comment makes a really good point. The other day we put ChatGPT5 and Grok4 up against each other in a competition to make the ultimate platformer. We found that Grok4 was a little bit more advanced on the design but really couldn't produce a playable game, while ChatGPT5 gave us a real platformer even though it was a little bit more basic. So today we're taking this person's advice and leveling up to the ChatGPT5 thinking model as well as making our prompt far more descriptive. Let me take you through it. We're starting off with a very brief overview and gameplay logistics to give GPT-5 an idea of the project it's taking on. Then the prompt dives into the features of the game and trust me, it dives deep. We're covering player design, different platform styles, background layers, collectibles, enemies, portals, and even level progression. Finally, we're wrapping it up with some logistics like HUD and performance. We're specifying for the model to keep track of score based on collectibles and lives based on contact with enemies. Let's see what this artificial intelligence can do. Well, look at this. We have a beautifully designed platformer with interactive elements that works exactly the way we wanted it to. It has beautifully designed levels with coins that collect and count towards the overall score, and it does in fact send me back to the beginning if I fall or touch a walkable enemy. I have to be honest, this model really, really impressed me. It was able to handle the complex prompt, follow the feature breakdown, and actually deliver something that felt like a real platformer. It's important to note that this wasn't a one-shot game. It took a few messages of back and forth with the ChatGPT5 thinking model to debug the code and get exactly what I want. What do you think? Is AI ready to make more of its way into the game building sphere or do humans still have the edge?